hello everyone and welcome to the channel the error you can see on the screen boot device not found in hp laptop or system if you are facing the same issue this video is for you i will show you step by step how to fix this issue quickly so in order to fix this issue quickly you need to press your power button for almost 15 seconds so that your system or laptop may shut down properly and once it is shut down properly you need to turn it on and you can press escape key or F10 key on your keyboard now I have press escape key and there is the option F10 to go to BIOS option so I will press F10 now once you are on this BIOS setup you need to use your right arrow key this arrow key and you need to go to the boot configuration here system configuration then you need to scroll down and look for boot options and press the enter key and once you have press the enter key here if you are using the windows 11 guys so you have to select here UEFI firmware setting okay but if you are using the older like windows 7 8 like that you can select here the legacy support is enabled but if you are using the new laptop or system you can select here legacy boot to disable so if it is already enabled you have to disable it press enter key and you need to disable it and press yes then now you can see it's being disabled legacy support is disabled now now you need to go to the UEFI boot order and you need to select here OS boot order use right arrow key or enter key and you can see here the SSD is showing up here make sure your boot drive is showing up here okay in if it is selected you can select its order to top so I will press F6 key to go up here like this now it's on the top priority UEFI boot order the same setting you need to do with the legacy boot order if it is already enabled but in my case this legacy support is disabled so you can select the secure boot enable otherwise if you have selected the legacy boot options then you have to disable the secure boot since the legacy support doesn't support the secure boot so you have to disable this so same setting you need to do for UEFI firmware setting then you need to press F10 key to save changes press enter now once you press enter your laptop or system may ask you to enter the code which is which will be showing on the, your screen if any code is shown on the screen you need to enter it and thereafter you have to press enter and the changes will be take effect after that and your issue will be fixed so this is how guys you can fix this issue so i hope your issue is also fixed now if your issue is fixed then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching